Okay, so I'm going to take you through creating an icon in Adobe Illustrator. When you start Illustrator up, you might see a screen something like this. At the top of the screen, you have a bunch of presets for different sized documents. And if you've used Illustrator before, you'll see some previous projects down at the bottom. Alternatively, if you want to create a new document, just choose the Create New button on the left hand side there, and it will show you a whole bunch of different options. So you can create designs for mobile, for web, for print, etc. And that will give you a whole lot of presets for different document sizes. I'm just going to choose an A4 uh, piece of paper and hit Create. And once the document starts up, I'll show you around the interface. So over on the left hand side, I have a whole bunch of drawing tools and manipulation tools. I'll show you some of these during this tutorial. At the top, I've got a number of menus. Uh, with various options, some of which we may use today. And over on the right hand side we have a number of panels such as properties, layers, libraries, etc. which we can use from time to time uh, when we need to use particular settings. So I could just go ahead and draw my document here but I'm actually going to start by just opening a previous document, open recent files and I'll show you this one here. So this is an icon I've designed for a technology department, a woodworking department in the school. Uh, so what we've got here is a couple of different tools. We've got a screwdriver and a hammer representing the kind of work that they do. And I've placed it within a kind of shield shape. So I'm going to take you through kind of building part of this and then show you how I constructed the rest. So let's have a little look at the hammer object here. What I'm going to do is just using the selection tool here. I'm just going to select everything, drag it over the whole object and these little handles appear allowing me to then resize things and I can move the object around. So I'm just doing this so that I've got a bit of space over on the right hand side for me to draw a new hammer object. So the hammer was drawn simply using some simple uh, shapes. So I just used some rectangles. So here we've got the rectangle, but if I hold my mouse button down over the rectangle you'll see you've got options for other shapes there. So let's just draw out a rectangle, okay, and over on the right hand side in the properties panel I can change the fill colour, so I'll make it match the hammer that I've already drawn, and I can also change the stroke colour, so the stroke is the outline. I'm just going to switch the outline off though, for the time being, like so, and then I'm going to continue drawing other rectangles and shapes to create the hammer shape. So I'm going to create the, the head of the hammer by just overlaying some rectangles, like so. So I'm trying to copy the one that I've got there already, make it as similar as I can. Okay, and then I've got the claw part of the hammer to make as well. And this, this bit is a little bit more awkward. So I'm going to start off with a rectangle. I'm just going to draw this down here so that it's kind of separate and you can see it a bit better. And I'm going to create the, the claw shape by combining different shapes together. So I'm going to take an ellipse, like an oval shape, and I'll make this a different colour so it's a little bit easier to see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap these two shapes. Okay, so drag this shape over here. So I want to kind of get rid of um, a kind of corner here of this shape here. So if I select both of those objects, so you see I just dragged over both of them, so both of them are selected, and then for my tool palette I'm going to use this tool here called the Shape Builder tool. And the Shape Builder tool can be used to join objects together or remove parts of an object. So if I just drag over this object, um, it would select and add um, separate shapes and combine them together. But if I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, um, I will be able to remove parts of the shape. So I'm just dragging over this corner here because I want to get rid of that. Now if I take just the uh, ellipse, you'll see that I just managed to then take the corner off of this uh, rectangle here. And I'm going to do something similar to create the rest of the, the claw part of the, the hammer. I'm just rejigging the shape of the ellipse and just trying to get this lined up here. So you can see this orange shape is kind of the shape that I need to make the claw. Um, I'm just going to change this ellipse a little bit so if I move my pointer just outside I can rotate 
the ellipse and that will give me more like the shape that I need. So again I'm going to select both of these objects and use the shape builder tool here holding down alt on my keyboard I'm going to drag over the parts of the image that I don't need which is that and that leaves behind this nice claw shape which I can then add to the hammer and that's pretty good that kind of is good enough okay fairly happy with that now all that remains is to put a handle on the hammer so I'll use a rectangle for that okay but I'd like the rectangle to be narrower at the top than it is at the bottom so let's zoom in a little bit and you can zoom in using the zoom tool or you can hold down alt on your keyboard and use the scroll mouse now look at these two points here on the corners I want to select those and I'm going to use the direct selection tool that's the white arrow tool to drag over those so just those two corners are selected so the ones at the bottom aren't selected and then I'm going to use this tool here which is called the scale tool I'm just going to drag in one side and you'll see the other side gets dragged in as well okay so that has made the shape that I kind of need so let's zoom out and I'll put the hammer um, handle in position there we go that looks pretty good and then I can just select that whole object right click on it and group all the objects together so it now acts as one plain object hi everyone thanks for watching click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the adobe education exchange and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos